Hello, my name is Ali, and welcome to my channel. We are back with Hakuoki Kyoto Winds, Sanon's Route. Let's go. Hijikata nodded and turned to leave, but I realized I had one thing left to say. Uh, um. What? Is there something else? Um. There were so many warriors who were injured as a result of the attack on the compounds. Saito hadn't been present for long recently, and Kondo was occupied with his meetings with the Bakushin. Similarly, I had a feeling Hijikata was feeling the pressure of all of, the duty, all of his duties lately. I wish that I could be helping him in some capacity, but I might get in their way. What is it? I won't know if you stay quiet. I... Oh, man, already? Now I gotta look that up. Okay, let's see. We need to... What are we going to say? I'll stay here. All right. Nothing. I'm sorry for stopping you. Huh? Did you lose your train of thought? Whatever then. I'm going to head back to my room. Okay. I watched his back disappear through the door, leaving me alone in my room again. Ah. <sighs> as much as I wanted to be helpful for everyone... If I recklessly walk about the comp compounds and things like earlier happened, it wouldn't be good. Maybe it's just better I don't do anything. As I was thinking that, the day had passed and night had fallen. Hey, here you are, Chizuru. Can I come in? Harada. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. Sorry for coming unannounced. Damn, am I glad you're here. I'm getting sick of this grumpy old wet blanket. Funny. I was just thinking the same thing. Is there something wrong? Oh, we just thought you could keep us company. There's nobody else to talk to. What do you mean? There are people everywhere. Sorry. The truth is, I just want to let off some steam and I can't talk about this with... Well, anyone else. I mean, there aren't many warriors left, and the other captains are all busy. Oh, I see. I mean, it's all Kondo and Hijikata's fault to begin with. Sure can't talk to them. Oh, here we go again. The Fury Corps is a bad idea. A really bad idea. We need to get rid of it before it really screws us so Nagakura had something to get off his chest about the Fury Corps. Now I understood why they couldn't talk about it with anyone. The people who knew about it were the people they blamed, and it was a secret to everyone else. I mean, it's not like I wanted Heisuke to die or anything, but can you really even call that being alive? Just seems cruel to me. Well, yes, I suppose. Every man here knows how it works. Sometimes we kill the other guys, sometimes he kills us. When we go out there, we all know we might not come back. But now they won't even let us die? I know how you feel, but I think you're taking it a little far. I really doubt Kondo and Hijikata just leapt into all of this blind. I'm sure they gave it a lot of thought. So what thought is it then? They better not be saying they want to become daimyos and have their own castle or whatever. Well, come on. You knew Kondo's dream was to become a real samurai. What the hell, Sano? Are you telling me you're actually behind this crap? So just because you have this just cause, you could mess with the water of life? Hey, I'm not saying that, am I? Look, I'm just saying that I get where they are coming from. Well, screw you then. I can't do this sober. I'm going to Shimabara. Nagakira leapt up and stormed out through the door, fuming. He stormed off so briskly that the candle in my room blew out. My room fell dark, and I heard Harada sigh a little. Um, what should I do about Nagakira? Ah, <sighs> oh, leave him be. I'm sure he's not going to be dumb enough to bring up the water of life there. But, well, as you can tell, he is a good guy. And because of that, he can't just let go of a lot of stuff. I think Harada's right. I mean, 
even seeing Sanon earlier this afternoon. It just feels like the Shinsengumi is slowly changing. Um, can I ask you one thing? Hmm? What is it? Harada, what do you think about the Furies? Hmm. His sigh made his bangs flow atop his brow. Of course, the San OCG. I can see where Shinpachi's coming from. We're forcing life into people who are supposed to die and turning them into monsters. I think it's wrong, but without that serum, Heisuke would have definitely died. And I can sort of see where Kondo and Hijikata are coming from. If the Shinsengumi goes under, if the Shogunate writes us off, Kondo and Hijikata may no longer be classified as samurai. I'm sure those two have no other way of living besides the Shinsengumi. Shinpachi is from a samurai family, so he may not understand where Kondo is coming from. So, are you saying what is keeping everyone together is now weakening? It's hard to say. I mean, it could just mean that what we were working for wasn't the same in the first place. Maybe we all just had the misconception that we were after the same thing. I don't know. I know in my head that it can't be helped. But because we had such good times, it's tough. Harada was always so kind and mature and dependable. No matter to whom he was speaking, he always had their best interest in mind. And because Harada understood where Kondo and Hijikata were coming from, it might have been even harder for him. Sorry, not only did you have to watch me deal with Shimpachi, but now you gotta hear me vent. Oh please, I don't mind. It makes me happy if I can help in any way, so please, don't worry about me. I can't really do anything else. Hey, Chizuru? What is it? You gotta get out of the habit of putting yourself down so much. You're not here because you can't do anything. I mean, you were forced and put in confinement here. He reached his hand tenderly towards my head and patted the top of it. Butterfly! Well, I guess my sound isn't working. Oopsies. At least, I feel a lot better that I could talk to you. Even if you can't do anything, there are times where it's good to cheer someone up by just being there. Really? His words were so kind. Could I trust them? I'm not that witty enough to lie without showing it. You know me. Yes, I know, but... Anyways, it's not good for me to stay here too long, and I'm going to head out. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. I'm the one that should thank you. Good night, Chizuru. He patted my head a few times. Like a cute little puppy. And he left my room. My room fell silent again. If Harada was ever faced with a situation where he had to decide to drink the serum or not, I wonder what he would do. Would he drink the water of life just like Heisuke did? <sighs> the Shinsengumi, once solid, now wavered. What would happen to them? What would happen to the Fury Corps? Men were forced to watch their friends become the undead monsters known as Furies. Was it any wonder that they found themselves conflicted or that tempers began to rise? Several days later, the order was given to begin the Imperial Restoration. The Emperor would be restored to power, and his court would once again rule the nation. The position of Shogun would be abolished, and Kyoto's military and judiciary commissioner positions would be eliminated. All that the Shinsengumi had fought for and believed in was falling to pieces. Is that the end of that chapter? Then I believe we'll be. This is the final chapter? Chapter 5, December 1867. Oh, Sano. Sanon, not Sano. Whatever. All the names are so close. I mean, Heisuke, Keisuke, Sano, Sanon. <laughs> So confusing. Kondo, Kodo, oi. December 1867. 
As the order to begin imperial restoration came, Satsuma and Choshu troops started occupying the city of Kyoto. At the same time, members and affiliates of the Tokugawa shogunate were being removed from the imperial palace and eventually Kyoto altogether. They, as expected, did not take this lightly. In response, the shogunate's military forces were beginning to march from Edo to Kyoto. As tension rose from the approaching shogunate armies, the Satsuma and Choshu were preparing their own forces for a hostile confrontation. The situation was growing increasingly frenzied. As the shogunate scrambled to call, their, call upon their remaining allies, the Shinsengumi received an order to come to the Fushimi magistrate. Having all of their men in armaments, ar- armaments oh geez, gathered in, the Fushimi magistrate enabled the shogunate to act in the event of an emergency. So off we went. On one such day during the commotion, Hey, bad news, guys. The chief's been attacked. Bad news was delivered to the Fushimi magistrate. There had been no witnesses, and the culprit escaped unseen. Their motives could only be guessed. What the hell? Who the hell could have shot him? Let's go. Anyone who's free, come with me. Nagakira got a crew of warriors together, and they all headed towards the location where Kondo was shot. Oh, jeez. Of course, that worked, but the game sound doesn't work. Sanon's route started. Nerd. <laughs> Love it. Yamazaki and I had taken turns caring for Kondo, who was in critical c- condition from a gunshot wound. This took some time. According to Yamazaki, this was the only duty we could do from the compounds. I had left from the outside, which was chilly in the winter air, to get some cold well water. From a distance, I'd overheard two familiar voices, so I stepped behind a tree to listen. It was Sanon and Okita, the latter of whom was worsening in his ill condition. Yo, Sanon, so can the water of life cure diseases like it can heal wounds? Injuries can be healed by the water of life, certainly, but we have not performed research on anyone who has contracted an illness. If you're interested in trying it for yourself, Then I will not stop you. Well, if my body has any chance of getting better, then I'll take it so I can avenge Kondo faster. So, I don't mind. Upon hearing Okita's idea, I couldn't help but jump out. His eyes are huge. Wait, you don't know for sure that you'll get better, so you can't take it. In response to my sudden appearance, Okita had sneered down at me coldly. So you're going to tell me what I can or can't do, despite the fact that it could make me better. Well, Sanon just said that he's never tried it on anyone with your condition, so why... Yes, I said so, but I acknowledge that Ukita is free to pursue what he feels is best for himself. Sanon's tone came off as an attempt to undermine my interpretation, rather than clarify his words. Are you okay with that, Ukita? Of course. What do you know about this? Mind not sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? I wasn't trying to get in the way. On the contrary, I actually agree with the sentiment of avenging Kondo as soon as possible, but it was so difficult for me to sit idly on the side as he drinks the water of life. I mean, there's no telling if it'll even help his condition or worse. I just... As I was about to defend how I felt, another voice emerged from behind to weigh in. Oh, Soji, is it okay for you to be up so late? It was Inoue. Yeah, I had trouble sleeping. Ah, I see. You will begin to worry Toshi if you stay up. It is best for you to head back to your room soon. Guess I'll do that then. Night, everyone. It seemed as though Okita felt more reserved when Inoue was around him. As he returned to his room, he sauntered away, caught up in his dejected malaise. When Okita was out of sight, Inoue lowered his voice and mumbled in a concerned tone. Sanon, I heard some shouting. Did something happen? No, there's nothing for you to be concerned over. Ah, that's a relief to hear. I mean, with what with all that happened to Asami... 
I am positive that Soji is a little on edge because of it, so please do not provoke him too much. Inoue held the interests of Okita close to his heart, and Sana nodded in agreement. You are right. I understand. A mutual understanding was reached between the two, with Sanon's peaceful answer, and Inoue smiled at the two of us in front of him. Yukimura, pardon this request, but would you kindly look after Isami for a while? It would make me far more comfortable if someone with medical experience were to watch over him, or after him, close enough. Of course. I'll go as soon as I can get some water. Sounds good. I shall wait there for you. Inoue then bowed slowly to Sanon and me, and we saw him off with a smile on our faces. Well, I wouldn't maybe call it a smile, but rather a smile through gritted teeth. Considering. Moments prior to Inoue's arrival, we were fighting. It looked like Sanon had picked up on the same cue, but what could be going through Sanon's mind? To go so far as to suggest Okita drink the water of life. I'm going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!